that one will lay behind this one here. So I put those all together and there's my man and there is my writing. See, you really want to take time getting that done correctly. up like this with a lot of collage work on them but they do look really cool when you actually put the items in them. I build it and it doesn't matter if I touch the side like there or if I touch the end it's going to melt so I'm just going to melt some off and I just hold the tip of this solder like this and hold my piece still for me. on each one. Now, it's nice if I can get it on really even, but if I don't get it really even, that's okay. What I really am looking for is that I get it all covered. I want all the copper to be covered. This is my fattest piece right here, the widest across. So I'm putting it there first, and then this is probably the next thickest one. So I'll put it there, and then probably this one then this one and then these two little guys are just um, you know paper inside there's no inclusions or, or thicker glass or anything so I'll put them right there I have just a little bit of space between all of them They're all gonna fall off so you just need to put your iron and melt the solder go nice and slow go all the way down there you go and that's all the way level okay so here this one's a fat one too so it takes a little bit more right close to the edge and see I'm going to melt that part that was already on there and I want just a little more solder okay okay now I'll hold this here and they have all different sizes all different colors this is kind of an amber so I'm going to go back and I'm going to add flux just to the corners, really, is all I need. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of solder. Now, since I'm going to use, um, I want this to fall off, I'm going to use the side of my iron. And I'm going to make a little ball. What takes practice is getting the right amount on each one, getting them even. I'm just holding it up on its side like that. Tip it in there. Uneven, I just kind of scooch it over a little bit with my tip of my solder, and nice yellow milky look. So I pour a little dollop out there, and now I'm going to take my, I'll start with my smaller pieces, and I rub the side, the bottom, the other side, the face, and the back on them. So I'm going to do that on all of these. So if you think about it, if you count to five, I'm not doing around the jump ring. If you count to five, you've got one, the bottom, the side is two, the other side's three, the face is four, and the back is five. Turning copper. So this is all I do is swipe it across, but if I wouldn't have cleaned this first, it wouldn't have turned out real pretty. It would have been kind of 
brown and black in spots. And so I've turned that one into a copper. So it's right there. Now let's turn this one into a black. And you put it right onto your block like this. And see that fumes coming off? Get your face out of that. Don't, don't be sucking that in like that. So you wipe back and forth on that and you look at your and then I get my sponge right away so I can get it that stopped smoking. And these are the same size all the way down. So I use this side for making my small ones and this side for making my larger ones. And the small ones, if I'm going to connect with another jump ring, I'll use those, or if I put it on the bottom to put a little um, bead or something on the bottom, I'm, I'm working at getting that wire there. On the back side, the, the first part of it needs to be heading off of the pliers. So you can see I can just go like this, and I can just like ratchet it there, like that. But remember, all I'm doing is squeeze, rotate, release, roll back. Squeeze, rotate, release, roll back. That's a, some, it doesn't matter if it's clear or not, but it has a solid little ridge on it. It's got a, this side has a slant, but this side has a solid little ridge on it here. So I'm gonna take that solid ridge and use that for my, uh, to substitute for my cutting bar here. Okay, so I'm gonna put my ruler on the red line. that scritch sound. So here's my, my line, and I'll bring my running pliers back in here. Oops, here's the mirror head. I'll bring them back in here, and I'm right on that line, 